This IRI presentation will outline administration of the assessment through an accessibility lens. Information presented will include grade level subtests and an overview of all universal tools, designated supports, and accommodations available to students to ensure the IRI is accessible to all K-3 Idaho students. Idaho's Reading Indicator is designed to measure students' progression in learning foundational reading skills so that the teacher can access data to plan instruction and support student acquisition of early reading skills. Each grade level receives a battery of subtests designed to measure early reading skill acquisition. Kindergarten is the only tested grade that receives the listening comprehension subtest measuring a student's ability to match pictures to sentences and choose a picture to complete a sentence or story. Phonemic awareness for kindergarten measures sound discrimination and blending beginning with two sounds and working up to six sounds. Letter knowledge is assessed in kindergarten as a fluency measure for recognition and sound, allowing five seconds per question. Vocabulary is a subtest given to all grade levels. In kindergarten, vocabulary consists of only picture items. Important to remember is that the IRI by iStation is a computer adaptive assessment that will increase in difficulty as students show mastery of skills, making it possible for a kindergarten student to see a subtest typically administered beginning in first grade. First grade receives more subtests in their IRI assessment than other grade levels. Phonemic awareness for first grade measures sound discrimination and blending, beginning with three sounds and working up to six sounds. First grade students should quickly progress through this subtest, seeing it drop out of their battery by mid to end of the year. Letter knowledge is assessed in first grade as a fluency measure for recognition and sound, allowing five seconds per question, and will drop out of the testing battery as students reach mastery. Vocabulary for first grade will begin with picture items and progress to synonym items along with picture items. Alphabetic decoding will be new to some first grade students who did not reach it in kindergarten. Alphabetic decoding will begin with two letter nonsense words and progress to words as long as six letters. Spelling begins with simple decodable words and progresses to high frequency words as students show progress. Reading comprehension will begin with picture matching and progress to sentence completion. Fluency will be administered to first grade students beginning mid-year. If your school or district only administers IRI in the fall and spring, you are encouraged to prepare first grade students for any subtests that will be new to them from fall to spring. Second and third grade students receive the same four subtests at the beginning of the year. As an adaptive test, the IRI by I station will provide earlier subtests to a second or third grade student as necessary, beginning with the second administration of the assessment. A beginning of the year battery for a second or third grade student will test vocabulary at the synonym level, reading comprehension at a sentence level progressing to paragraphs, and spelling with all levels of difficulty reflected in the words. Text fluency in IRI is a fixed form assessment that is not calculated into a student's overall score. Additional information about the IRI subtests can be found in Appendix A of the IRI Test Administration Manual. Available accessibility features for administration of the IRI may be embedded or non-embedded and are grouped into three categories, universal tools, designated supports, and accommodations. This presentation will explain each of these categories and what features are available to students. For additional information regarding accessibility features, refer to the IRI TAM tables two, three, and four. The IRI by iStation includes accessibility features that are both embedded and non-embedded. Embedded features are those that are available within the testing platform or that can be turned on and off by district or school manager users. 
Non-embedded features are designed to support IRI administration, but are outside of the testing platform. Test administrators should be familiar with all the accessibility features within iStation prior to proctoring the assessment. Consult your district or school IRI implementation coordinator with questions regarding accessibility for individual students. Universal tools are accessibility features available to any student taking the assessment. Staff should ensure students understand and have accessed the tools prior to test administration. Students should not see an assessment tool for the first time during an active testing session. Teacher modeling is an embedded tool that provides access for teachers to model the functionality of the system. Student modeling is designed to provide students with the opportunity to practice using the features of the system. Additional information about modeling can be found on the SDE website in the IRI Modeling Training and in the IRI TAM. The embedded pause feature allows the assessment to be paused for up to 20 minutes. As a universal tool, pause should only be used if a student requires a break and will return to testing within 20 minutes. It should not be allowed as a tool to allow additional processing time for students. Web-based administration of the IRI is available as an embedded universal tool. IRI is typically administered through a downloaded application. Students taking the IRI at isip.istation.com will not see characters present on the screen and the background visuals will have a more simplified design. Content assessed through the web-based administration is identical to what a student would experience in the downloaded application. The one non-embedded tool available is grouping that allows small group administration of no less than five students. Groups that will be smaller than five require the use of a designated support as outlined in the next slide. Additional information about available universal tools can be found in the IRI TAM in Table 2. Designated supports are available to any student with a documented need. The decision to provide a designated support to a student should be based on a team recommendation and documented in the student's 504 plan or IEP where applicable. Pause as a designated support is appropriate for only some students who have an identified need and allows the assessment to be paused for up to 20 minutes. Spanish Directions is an embedded support in iStation available to students whose first language is not English. This feature can be turned on through individual student settings. Amplification is available as an embedded support by adjusting the volume without the use of headphones or as a non-embedded support by utilizing outside hearing technology in conjunction with iStation. Embedded magnification means that a computer screen or tablet can be placed on higher magnification than normally used to support students who are visually impaired or require visual supports. As a non-embedded support, magnification will allow IRI to be projected on a screen, smart board, Promethean board, etc. Multiple test sessions as an embedded de designated support allows the proctor to administer the IRI subtests over the course of multiple days. The proctor should be familiar with the IRI to ensure the student is prompted to stop at the appropriate stopping points between subtests. Beginning a subtest without reaching the end before stopping will prompt the subtest to restart from the beginning the next time the student logs in. Providing a separate setting for administration allows for administration to groups smaller than five students or one-on-one. -on -one. Scratch paper is available as a designated support for the spelling subtest only to support students with an identified need. Scratch paper should be destroyed following test administration to adhere to security protocols. Additional information about available designated supports and their use can be found in Table 3 
of the IRI TAM. Accommodations are options for IRI test administration that are only available to students with disabilities who have a documented 504 plan or IEP. Accommodations must be documented on the student's 504 or IEP prior to administration. The only available IRI accommodation is Scribe. This allows an administrator to click the student's answer choice, response, during the assessment. This accommodation is appropriate for students who have limited fine motor skills. Additional information about IRI accommodations can be found in the IRI TAM Table 4. The guidance provided in Appendix E and F of the IRI TAM outline accommodations only available to students who are deaf, hard of hearing, or blind, visually impaired. These accommodations are only available to specific populations. Turning the time off for IRI is not an allowable accommodation for all students on an IEP. The timer may only be turned off for students identified as deaf, hard of hearing, blind, visually impaired, or have a significant cognitive disability. Turning the time off on the IRI means that the norm reference score is no longer comparable to the student's grade level peers. Other accommodations only available to these special populations identified are fingerspelling, ASL interpretation, screen duplication, visual phonics, and Zoom. Information related to the administration of IRI to special populations can be found in Appendix E for deaf and hard of hearing and F for blind visually impaired. Appendix G with guidance for students with significant cognitive disabilities will be released in summer 2021. For questions regarding the administration of IRI, first reach out to your district or school IRI coordinator. You may also call or email the contact on this slide.